Joe Rogan is now apologizing after videos resurfaced of him using the N-word multiple times on his podcast, Patriot Takes, which put the video together as an organization that aims to expose extremism on the far right. The video is an edited compilation of different podcast episodes. And we have to warn you, this is very disturbing to hear. Like, you know, the n thing. Yeah. Saying the word n uh, like, You've already said n D is just like saying n She's calling you a n like this boy that he's a n and starts calling them n word n There should be a word like n especially like the word n That's our n about n He says n guy a n and then our n starts saying n about to use the word n out the word n see the word n say n and you couldn't say n most n Just, just unbelievable. Um, let's bring in CNN's chief media correspondent, Brian Stelter. Uh, Brian, uh, what is Joe Rogan now saying? He is now apologizing, and we're going to find out if that's enough for Spotify, the company that has an exclusive distribution deal with him. Jim, this is all coming to light because of the recent controversy about anti-vaccine rhetoric on Rogan's podcast. Some artists uh, decided to quit the service. One of them, India Ari, pointed out this video, this compilation video, and, and pointed out that the language Rogan has used around race in the past is just as, or maybe even more problematic than his rhetoric about vaccines. We know Rogan's show is, is known for its fresh and, and frank and unvarnished conversations. That's why it's, his fans like the show. But this compilation, this, this use of the N-word so many times in the past may be too much even for some of his defenders to bear. But here is, in Rogan's own words, part of his apology today. I'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that I've ever had to talk about publicly. There's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the N-word. It's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast, and it's all smushed together, and it looks horrible, even to me. Now, I know that to most people, there's no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word, never mind publicly on a podcast. And I agree with that now. I haven't said it in years, but for a long time, when I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation, and stay, instead of saying the N word, I would just say the word. I never used it to be racist because I'm not racist, but whenever you're in a situation where you have to say, I'm not racist, you fed up. And I clearly have Yes, yeah, I mean, he Brian, clearly has, Jim. Yeah, he clearly has. And, and you and I both know um, that that compilation right there, which he has admitted to is, is uh, you know, authentic, that would be enough to put anybody out of a job. I mean, to me, I, it, it's, it seems untenable to have that kind of video surface, that kind of compilation surface, and keep one's job. Um, but, Brian, there's another video that Patriot Takes put out, which I also want to play. It's a story uh, Joe Rogan is telling of when he went to see what he describes as the planet of the apes. It, it, it's awful, but let's just show it and then talk about it. And it says, okay, take me to this one. And the guy goes, okay. I goes, is that in a good neighborhood? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guy barely speaks English. He takes us there. We get out. And we're giggling. Oh, we're going to see Planet of the Apes. We walked into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door, and there was no white people. And Rogan addressed this in his video as well. What, what did he have to say about that? Yes, that's right. You know, these are multiple um, uh, examples of offensive content on his podcast that he's uh, trying to apologize for at the same time. Here's what he said about this part. I did not, nor would I ever say that black people are apes, but it sure sounded like that. And I immediately afterwards said, that's a racist thing to say. The Planet of the Apes wasn't even in Africa. I was just saying, there's a lot of black people there. I mean, so Brian, a lot of this is about money. trying to diffuse yeah. this. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Trying to 
trying to diffuse this, Jim, and whether it's going to work is anybody's guess. We've been reaching out to Spotify, asking for comment. Spotify pr promotes itself as just a platform, you know, where anybody can put up their podcast. But with Rogan, they're paying Rogan uh, tens and tens of millions of dollars, reportedly $100 million for exclusive rights to his content, including these old episodes full of him using the N-word. Now, uh, listeners have noticed that several dozen episodes have been taken down. Apparently, those are the episodes that, that we've heard clips from today. So Spotify might be on a cleanup mission trying to erase some of Rogan's past, but will the company continue to stand by him? That's an open question. We've not heard back from Spotify. Right. I mean, you know, um, Joe Rogan can continue uh, to host his podcast if people want to listen to it, they can, but it doesn't have to be on Spotify. Uh, you know, some of these companies that, um, that you know, put these uh, types of programs on their platforms, they don't ha have to put them there, right, uh, Brian? I mean, That's the are they contractually out obligated companies. to do that? Companies like Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, they present themselves just as platforms, neutral platforms. But actually, the, the Spotify, in this case, is a media company getting in business to distribute Rogan. They don't have to be in that business. They've chosen it because they want to grow their podcast business. That's a choice they might support and stick with. In fact, the other day, the head of the company said, if we're going to be in the podcast business, we are going to host content that's going to make people upset, that people aren't going to like. So maybe the company is going to stay with that position. Um, but this is what it means to actually be a media company and not just some Silicon Valley platform the way Spotify used to claim that it is. But Brian, uh, to, to the earlier question that you and I were discussing a few moments ago, typically in the past when a video like the one at the beginning of this uh, segment uh, that we aired of Joe Rogan saying the N-word repeatedly over and over and over again over the course of many of his episodes, I mean, that would be enough for somebody to lose their job. Um, why might the, the situation be different this time, do you think? It might be different because these are episodes that existed before Spotify bought into the Joe Rogan business. So before he was, you know, part of this exclusive deal to distribute, you know, may, you know, he was out more on his own as an independent broadcaster. They might try to claim, ah, oh, this was all in the past. But you're right, Jim. There are many examples, including in Hollywood and entertainment, where people have uh, have lost their roles for less than this. And that may be why Spotify is being so quiet. At the same time, I want to recognize there are reasons why Rogan has lots of fans millions of fans. People want to hear his candid conversations, but there's a difference between that, between candid, in-depth conversations and the kind of vile that's in this compilation, Jim. Right. And it's not just like it happened one time. It, it has happened repeatedly over the years. And, you know, it seems to me he's going to have to do more than put out an apology video, a profanity-laced apology video uh, to, to put this matter to rest. Uh, Brian Stelter, uh, thanks very much for your time. We appreciate it.